Well, we kind of started out with the guard cat on the top of the fish tanks a long time ago. Going on five months ago. What? Well, let's see, April, almost five months ago. Four months. All right, guard cat, got to move you here. We're going to look at the fish. Come on. Let's get down. Yeah, you don't want to be up there. Get her off my fish tank. So, yesterday I converted the second tank into a slow sand filter. I, Friday I actually built it. Saturday I drained, let it run some of the silt out. I'm just using the garden hose right now to test everything, test the layout, but it's going to work. So the layout is <clears throat> overflows from the tanks come into the cone bottom tank still have a little separation there in the summer I'll be able to connect up to the valve run that out to the garden this tank overflows into this second tank I'm almost back to where I was when I first started and in here is the biomedia right so that provides enormous surface area for the bacteria to grow on I've added some clay pellets just to try some different densities in there. Uh, you can see they're, they're not the bright white when they were brand new. So we've got uh, bacteria growing on there and they're doing their job. But now I put the return pump in this tank. So now the overflow just cycles back through these two tanks. The green hose coming from the sand filter goes into its own tank over here and it has a sump pump and switch on it. So it cycles on and off. Look how clean that water is. Oh my goodness. Not quite drinkable. Could be in a couple months. As that sump filter develops its bio layer. So this has been on now for 24 hours. Get out of there, cat. Come on. Get down. Get down. Let's see how well it's doing. Oh, looky. Now you can actually see to the bottom. Cat hadn't been scaring the fish there. Some of that sediment wouldn't be floating around. So that pump is just a transfer pump uh, taking some water to the sand filter. The sand filter needs to stay uh, covered in water. So that is taking about 250 gallons an hour over to the sand filter. That just recycles back. I'm getting about 128 gallons of water through the sand filter per hour. So there's the fisheries. There's the heater. The big ones are the boys, the littler ones are the girls. Hopefully they'll turn into teenagers in another month or so and I'll start having uh, promiscuousness going on. One thing neat is uh, the tank kind of stays a little self-cleaning because they stay at the bottom and they scurry back and forth, they keep it stirred up so they don't have any buildup on the bottom. It's all, it stays suspended and therefore it all gets pulled out of the tank. And there we go. Another three months. Well, not quite. What do we got here? Middle of September, middle of October, about two more months. Might have to wait till Christmas for the fish fry. But now that I got some serious filtration, I can start upping their food. I feed them four times a day, and uh, they're getting big enough to where I probably should go to about six times a day. And then eventually I want to get to every two hours. So that's the final configuration for the winter. Now I have an indoor insulated filter, and uh, I just kind of finalize the the plumbing now that I know how I want the uh, tanks to go in the sequence I, I really struggled with that Saturday because I have such different drain rates 
I could never balance the system so I had to go to a sump tank with a float switch uh, that turns itself on and off uh, periodically because uh, the slow sand filter drain is much slower than the recirculating overflow drains and but this stayed balanced really well during the night so now I'll put in some permanent plumbing to get the tanks all hooked up so there's the update from the fish farm